Perhaps I have one of the most rewarding jobs possible, the opportunity to work with couples who have great love to offer a child but who have been unable to conceive for some reason. At Advanced Fertility in the Midlands, it is our privilege to service these couples and many times help them achieve their greatest goal, the birth of a child. This program will teach you about some of the major reasons couples have trouble getting pregnant and will show you the incredible procedures available today to help them. You'll also meet several of our families that have come to us with a variety of challenges and who today have either gone on to give birth or are currently pregnant. I thank these patients for sharing their highly personal and emotional stories so that others may be inspired. I'm Dr. Gail Whitman Elia with Advanced Fertility in West Columbia and this is Fertility Advances available today. call and it was my doctor and she asked me how I was feeling and I told her I felt fine and she would and then she asked me if I felt um, if, if I felt pregnant and I told her um, what did I say how did I say it to her I, I told her I wasn't sure you know am I pregnant and she was like yeah you are and you know and everybody was real excited life is busy <laughs> That's about the only thing I can say is life is busy. Um, it's it's wonderful, but shoo, is it busy. And I was really amazed at, at the thoroughness and the professionalism that existed. Um, they took the time to even show me the process, the procedures, and uh, I am a part of this miracle, although she's the one who's doing the work. Each of these couples' stories is unique, but they all have one goal in common, to have a child of their own. You've probably heard the term in vitro fertilization, or IVF. It's a wonderful procedure that is helping many patients achieve pregnancy at our practice. When medication and surgery have failed, some patients come to us. Patients like Ogie White. It, it, that was overwhelming in a way, just the science part of it, because, you know, here you are one day, you're not pregnant, and then the next day, you quite possibly are. So, I mean, but as far as like the process, and I'm kind of glad I didn't know a lot about it, you know, because then I may have been um, anticipating something that may not have happened, um, but, you know, um, I, they told me every step of the way, but I didn't have any perceived um, conceptions of it. Once a couple is referred to us by their OBGYN or general physician, one of the first people they come into contact with here at Advanced Fertility is Dr. Florence Hightower, a talented counselor who is with you every step of the way. Those are the three main things that I try to work with them when they get here to let them know it's not their fault, um, to let them know it's perfectly normal to have those feelings that you're not really happy because you can't get pregnant. So it's hard for you to be happy for others. And then the sadness, you know, it, it's, it's a crisis in their life. And um, so, you know, we try to address that component with the female. Ogie and her husband, Bill, needed a little help from us to get pregnant. We determined she was a good candidate for in vitro fertilization. <laughs> uh, tomorrow you will start your progesterone in oil. That's the one cc of progesterone in the hip. Okay. okay. You are about to go inside our state-of-the-art on-site operating room. 
It's right here at our West Columbia Advanced Fertility Practice, and it's where you'll see the remarkable IVF procedure step by step as Ogi goes through it. Ogi has gone through several weeks of fertility medication before arriving at this point. We are ready to go into the operating room and remove eggs. Now, if you'll just slide your bottom down until I tell you to stop, keep on coming, keep on coming a little bit more. That's good, okay. sweetie. Now you can lie back. We'll get the pillow for your head. Now we're going to Here, we will remove all the healthy eggs possible and take them into our lab where they will be fertilized by her husband's sperm. After Ogi is comfortably asleep, the process of in vitro fertilization begins with taking out as many healthy eggs as possible. We utilize the highest quality ultrasound imaging equipment to locate and capture the eggs one by one. We typically retrieve around six to ten eggs from a patient, sometimes less, sometimes more. The eggs are immediately passed through a small door which leads to our lab. Here they will be exposed to sperm after about a three hour period. Okay, well I think she did very well. Um, the patient is 39 years old and um, she had 11 eggs and they look very nice uh, under the microscope. Um, that's more than I could ask for in her age group. Um, I suppose we were expecting her to be able to have a few more than usual uh, because of her ultrasounds. She had a lot of follicles. But there's not always an egg in every follicle. And um, so, But I think she's done really well at 39. And how many of those will you put back in? And well, they now have to be exposed to sperm, and because of the nature of their case, we're going to micro-inject sperm into each egg that is um, ready, and then we'll know tomorrow how many are actually fertilized, how many actually had DNA joined. Uh, from that point, then they have to grow. And so usually if you had someone in this age group with 11 eggs, we'll be very happy if we have six embryos at the end. Um, but we'll see. You know, it's, time will tell. Here is where the real miracle of today's technological advances begins to unfold. You are inside Advanced Fertility's high-tech lab. Our expert embryologist begins the process that will bring the husband's sperm and the wife's eggs together for fertilization. It takes an extremely high level of expertise to perform this process. First, the eggs are given what amounts to a little bath. Then the sperm, which have gone through testing to identify the strongest swimmers, are placed on the microscope platform. The microscope has a mechanical assistability to help the technician make exact placements in this extremely tiny space. Then the wonderful and highly advanced process of bringing the two together begins. Our technician inserts one sperm into each egg which has been removed from the patient just a few hours earlier. Keep in mind that you are watching at extreme magnification. The actual egg is smaller than the head of a pen. The technician must insert the pipette directly into the prepared egg, then watch as a single sperm from the husband is carefully inserted. Well, uh, this part's very important because we want to make sure we get the embryos in exactly the right place, okay? So what, remember when we did this in the office? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this is the same drill. Three days pass as we let the fertilized eggs develop into embryos. Then, Ogi comes back to have several of the embryos placed into her uterus. Again, you are along as we bring her into the operating room to begin the procedure. We decide to place four embryos into Ogi. That decision is based on a combination of factors. Our experience and research guides us to the number of embryos needed to best ensure that at least one embryo goes on to develop normally. Do we sometimes end up with twins or even triplets? Occasionally, but more often, only one embryo survives. Well, you did so well. I'm proud of you. Okay, great. Okay, Thank good you. Luck. You're welcome. With four healthy embryos transferred, Ogi is off to the recovery room for a brief stay before leaving for home. Well, we just saw a em uh, four embryo transfer on a 39-year-old patient. The embryos look excellent, 
and we're hoping that she'll have a positive result.